watches go in. Let's see if we can find this guy. I haven't heard from this guy in months. Feedback? Mr. Feedback? Pedro? Peter? Feed? We are all born, or reborn, as a clean blank canvas, innocent, naked, with only the desire to survive. Then, life pulls you along and you can find yourself places you never thought you would go. Physically, mentally, spiritually, and even musically. Really? Alright, we're pulling this guy out. Oh, come on! What are come you on. doing? <laughs> come on, feedback? We're pulling you out of retirement, man. Oh, man. Come, come on. on. You ain't looking too good, bud. Uh, come on, man. Seriously, dude. You ain't been through the shit I've been through. Oh, man. You're making me sad, man. It ain't cool, man. What are we going to do? I'll tell you what. You wear blue? Yeah, I can do that. You wear blue? Yeah, I guess. All right. All right, if you guys will wear blue, yeah, well, we can do this. All we right, can do, well, this. Let's do this. All right, well then let, let's, do let's do this. 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 Let's go. Whoa. Let's get them on. Let's load it up. Who are these people? Where are they going? Why do they do this to each other? It hasn't even been 12 hours yet, and they wonder, will this tour ever end? Or will it just go on forever and ever and ever and ever? At the stop sign, turn right onto Doug Barnard Parkway, then turn left. Alright, Mr. Feedback, we're here, buddy. I'm gonna cheer you up. Yeah, I guess, I'm man. I'm glad you you're happy, hey, but all I want on this tour is two things. I told you. See Mr. Brown? Yeah. And Tunnel Road. Gotta hit that tunnel no, I, road. We, I don't know about that tunnel road situation, man. We're gonna have to talk about that tomorrow. Dude, let's get It's dangerous. This, let's do the James Brown thing. Mr. Brown, my friend. Mr. Brown. I, this is the reason why I wanted to start playing music. Literally, I'm not even kidding. When I was 10 years old, my dad took me to a James Brown concert with my brother in the front row in Orlando Jazz Festival. I was 10 years old, sitting on my dad's shoulders. This is no lie. He was super late, came to the show. He had yellow like tights on, and his, his genitals were bulging. And my brother who was, I was 10, my brother was six years old. My brother turned to my dad and said, Dad, why does he have grapefruits in his underwear? <laughs> and ever since then, I wanted to play music. This is my boy. This is my boy. James Brown. Well, show us what you've learned. Get it. Get it, boy. Oh, yeah. oh my groin. Sometimes we are drawn towards bad decisions like a locomotive in reverse, headed for a land of nightmares where people crawl the street and fatso alley rats hunt for backstage tickets for a chance to meet the freak.
a woman staring in the corner there, and that is a, a lady that was so embarrassed of being pregnant, she carved herself as she was pregnant from a guy, and she said that piece always has to stare into the corner. Now that weird. Jeez, the weeds. Yeah. And then we do have a very rare Peruvian piece up here that comes from a two-headed mummy inside of its guts. They found it and they say that was would have been the funny bone or the funny area. And uh, the last person that touched it started to get mange and went crazy from it. Interesting. Yeah. What do you got over here? We have some swordfish swords. It's a bill of swordfish cut off and made into swords. And then we do have... Uh, pre-Columbian piece. I don't know if you know who M.C. Escher is, but I believe this is where he stole this style of art from. from oh, they Escher. actually did have a display up there uh, near Orlando. We've had it. And then uh, this piece here would have been a haunted piece because he was a cattle thief and he stole cattle so they cut his head off and then put him on display into a room and that's <laughs> is that an actual skull. Correct. All right, well, Pretty decent show last night. Uh, you want to be on for? Uh, we deliver. Uh, you know, they said we're the best band that's ever existed. Definitely the best Danny that's in town right now. And let's see. Oh, at the end of the night, they had like a free-form rap battle and uh, all the lyrics were about yours truly, so. I mean, I'm trying to shake off the sadness. What do you think, man? I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling pretty good. I thought we played really well. Uh, I really like that Oddities Museum, the Pex Shows Museum. was it was really cool. I uh, <clears throat> actually got myself a little souvenir from there, so. Souvenir? Yeah, I got, I got a little souvenir. And uh, I don't know, I, I really think it was like a 9 out of 10 for me last night, man. What about you, Jeremy? All right, so I got to nip something in the bud right now, man. You got bass troubles last night. You're not talking to me during the show. We got to communicate, man. What's up with you? Two days out here, you haven't spoken. Use your words. What are you doing? Come on, man. Look at this. You promised me feedback that we were going to hit Tunnel Road last tour, and we didn't hit Tunnel Road. We better hit Tunnel Road this time. We better hit Tunnel Road this time. People make unusual connections with unusual objects for unusual reasons. All right, germs, we made it to Asheville, North Carolina. Let me tell you, this is mine and Bobby's favorite spot. You know, the old cameraman. Now, I brought a couple essentials, okay? This is not coffee, okay? This is the remains, Bobby's ashes, okay? No, now don't give me that look. I'm going to spread them here, okay? Or, or some somewheres along this tour, all right? Just make sure you tell Evan about this. I don't want any mix-ups, okay? What's up with Tunnel Road? What's up with Tunnel Road, feedback? What are you talking you about? Me we're on to Tunnel the... Road. No, we're going to the tunnel. You promised me we're going to the tunnel. I told you it's dangerous. Dangerous. Keep your mouth shut. Didgeridoo. The didgeridoo is a wind instrument. The didgeridoo was developed by Aboriginal peoples of Northern Australia, likely within the last 1,000 years, and is now in use around the world. It hurts to realize that your so-called friends don't need you. They don't really like you. In fact, they will even bully you. Alright, we're in the hip.
hipster dining capital of the world. Where are we going to get something? Basis choice. Really? You're not going to talk again? Start to tick me off, germs. All right, I got the cure for this. Check me. All right, germs, got you an electro larynx, and I can use it like this and talk like that. Try it out. Don't mention it. Narcissistic Personality Disorder is a personality disorder characterized by a long-term pattern of exaggerating feelings of self-importance, an excessive need for admiration, and a lack of empathy towards other people. This is it! Finally, my boy Feedback does me right, takes me to Tunnel Road. Yeah, yeah, here's the tunnel. Now let's go, it's freezing out here. No, we're not going. You're gonna pick me up on the other side. I'm gonna go no, through there. No, no, that's not part of the agreement. You can't go through there. I'm going through there. You wanna know what's gonna happen to you? It's like a vortex over there. Vortex. I'm telling you. Dude, quit it with your superstitious bullshit. I'm going through there, and you're gonna pick me up on the other side. First of all, I'm not superstitious. I'm just suspicious. And second of all, I'm not gonna lose you too, man! Fuck you, Come on. You lost me years ago! What? No! Evan! 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 Pretty good too. Oh, <sighs> Bipolar disorder is a disorder associated with episodes of mood swings ranging from depressive lows to manic highs. Hey, 
know what's going on with it, man. It looks crazy today. But I tell you, I think Evan's got something to do with it. He's sort of like a prankster, you know. We've known each other for a while. What he doesn't know is old Danny Feedback's got a couple of tricks up his own sleeve. You Greek god, you germs, just keep it on the down low, okay? <laughs> The exact cause of bipolar disorder is unknown, but a combination of genetics, environment, and altered brain structure and chemistry may play a role. What's going on, germs? me for? I don't know, man. Go look for him. Look at this gamer. germs. Wake up, Evan. We gotta roll up to Raleigh, man. It's getting late this morning. Wake him up. What the fuck? The hell? Need to get some light in this room. What's up with your shoes, Feedback? What's up with my shoe? What's up with your voice? Sounds like your balls dropped. It sounds like you're a low gloss on the ass piece of trash. Let me tell you something, man. These shoes are tight. You can walk a thousand miles in a rich man's shoes, but you'll still step in horse shit at least a few times. And that's why they call Danny Feedback the hardest working man in shoe business. Danny Feedback. Now, my name's McCoy. I uh, started doing shoes back in the, in the 60s. And here's the thing. If you got a name like Danny Feedback, it has to mean something. Uh, why do they call you Danny Feedback? When I hear feedback, uh, some people might would say uh, that the sound system is up too loud or, or you got a screaming guitar. Uh, uh, the monitor is too close to the microphone. Now, am I getting somewhere with you? Oh, wait a minute, what do you play? 
<laughs> it sounds like you writing some songs too. Oh yeah, releasing our 16th album. You with a big company? Okay, okay, okay. And listen, <laughs> okay. All right, I, I want whatever you let me have, because I cherish it. Because I, I, I can see that I'm talking to somebody that, that has a passion uh, for their art, they love it, and they ain't got no intention on stopping it. Just, just like myself. I'm losing something right here and then I don't see it in here, so it's got to be. Uh, let's see now. What might you be? Might you be one in here? Yeah. You like it? The real McCoy. <laughs>
hearing that, or is it just me? It's just you. Shut the door and wipe again. Craziest nightmare, man. Bro, I'm telling you, he's lying. His voice Ooh, is fine. You're talking crazy. He's He's been lying to us the whole time. I caught him on his phone yesterday. No, he can't talk. That's why I had to buy him that thing to put under there. He's been lying to us, dude. <sighs> no. Something ain't right, dude. I'm telling you, something ain't right. Come on, man. Stop acting crazy. Seriously. I need to get some rest. <laughs> My ear broken? I can hear that high pitch frequency. I can hear that high pitch frequency. The tsunami of emotions is beginning to eat away the fabric of their mind. I can hear that high pitch frequency. Like moths in the old madman's closet. I can hear that high pitch frequency. Now they find the lines are blurred. The music becomes just another form of psychotherapy. I can hear that high pitch frequency. 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 Who's your ass and smell rock and roll? Who? You have not smelled. We've been on tour for a month. Come over here, buddy. Do it for my pant leg. Come on down here. Get that sour shit smell. Yeah. Got to be around the goddamn world. Bringing happiness to everybody. 
motherfucker's life! <laughs> You're welcome. Electrical larynx bullshit. I know you can talk. What's up? We're drinking some coffee? What's going on? Yeah, real funny, dude. Oh, I brought Bobby's ashes so I can spread them in our whoa, favorite spot. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bobby's ashes? I've been drinking that the whole time. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Quit joking around. I'm not joking around. You drank all of him? Well, yes, yeah, it would make me feel real good. You didn't tell him about this. I told you to. I'll cut it out with that electro larynx bullshit. He can talk just fine. Fuck this guy. Oh. Do you see what I got cooked up, buddy? You know how our boy Evan's not getting good sleep? All right, got him the sleep aid pills here, right? Gonna replace them with the freaking stay awake pills, germs. This is what I'm talking about. You'll never know the difference. Yeah, what do you think, germs? <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, I knew you'd get on board. <gasps> Sleep deprivation occurs when an individual fails to get enough sleep. The amount of sleep that a person needs varies from one person to another, but on average, most adults need about seven to eight hours of sleep each night to feel alert and well rested. Be back. Be back. Uh, Wake up, man. What are you doing? I can't sleep. Oh, take one of those pills I brought for you. I took them all already, man. You took them all? Yeah. Okay. It's the third day I haven't been able to sleep. Well, then drink that tea I brought for you and go to the bathroom and wipe. Ugh. <laughs> 
anybody else here farting their hand to smell it? That's what this guy's all about. Let me tell you about rock and roll life. So I booked this guy up in Charleston, right? Local guy. The club tells me, oh yeah, book this guy. All right, I booked the guy. Two weeks out, the guy tells me, oh, I'm not sure if I can play the show because my bassist works on boats. I don't care where he works, what boat? Or yeah, the Mediterranean Sea? I don't give a shit. I, I message him back, I say, well, if you can't play, I gotta find another band. Right? Okay, not only does he not message me back, he like erases the messages off of Facebook, like unfriends me or some fucking millennial fucking hurt, offended bullshit because I told him I was going to have to replace him. Okay, okay, all right. So I tell my band, all right, guys, this is it. We're doing a double set. We never do a double set. You know the energy we release on stage. How can we do it twice in one night? Well, we did it twice in one night. This guy shows up at 11 o'clock. Oh, you need me to, to, to play? I, I need to... Get the fuck out of here! We don't need you to play. Are you fucking serious? And guess what? Your music fucking sucks. It's fucking lame and it's not unique. Suck on it! God, I can't wait for this tour to be over. Feedback's been hoarding the money. But he's getting paid, so it's just a matter of time before I get my cut. Evan's been screwed ever since he stole that stupid monkey. What are you talking about that monkey for, man? You knew about that monkey this whole damn time. Don't put that on, I know it's not real oh, now. Geez. What kind of dipshit haircut is that? Come on, you want the money? You want the money? Yeah, got paid 29 bucks last show. Real cool, huh? Yeah, real cool, man. I got everything under control. I've saved the day again, all right? Got the monkey. Pawned it off, all right? What happens from here happens from here, all right? You got it? Yes. You no, no, no. Shut it. Then, much like Tunnel Road, they courageously entered. When they came out of the other side, life was different. Who had the disease? Do you have the disease? Do I have the disease? Am I the disease? If it is true that when you're born, that you are a blank canvas, then it must also be true that when we die, the canvas is just a counterfeit Leonardo da Vinci, full of errors and imperfection layered upon mistake after mistake after mistake after mistake.